back to my channel, it's your girl Eventy XO coming to you with another video. And today's video is extremely exciting. I'm going to be comparing the Morphe blah blah blah. I'm gonna be comparing the Morphe 35B palette with the James Charles new Unleash Your Inner Artist palette. I might as well compare these two palettes just in case some people already have the 35B palette and wondering like, is it worth it to spend their coins on the James Charles palette? Is it worth it? Is it worth it? So down below, please let me know what side you think is James Charles side and what side is the Morphe 35B side. Take your time, take your time. Let me know, let me know. Should I zoom you guys in? Okay, I'm gonna zoom you guys in. All right, you got you you, you had your time. You you figured it out. All right, just don't spoil it for anyone else, okay? All right, so without you chatting any further, let's just jump right into the video. These are the two palettes. As you can see, there's a huge size difference between the two. This is like, yeah, this yeah. Wait, let me see if it's like half. It's almost half. So I would say about three fourths of the James Charles palette is the size of the Morphe 35B palette. And I'm gonna open them both up. So as you can see, the colors are extremely similar. James Charles palette has 39 colors while the Morphe 35B has 35. So there's four additional colors in the James Charles palette. In this palette, they're kind of color coordinated, so similar colors are kind of close together. So you got your greens, you got blues, you got your pinks, you have your um, neutral colors right here. You have some warm, um, warm tones over here, and then you have your really light tones right here. Then in this palette, it's kind of similar too. You have a row of light colors, so like your yellows. You got some oranges right here. You got your reddish tones, um, but your lighter tones. You have a row of pinks. You have a row of greens. You have a row of like random and purples and then you have your row of blue and then your black in the corner they kind of group similar colors together which is really cool i like how it looks it looks very organized um let's do the eye look and i think i'm going to try and do that james charles eye look that's infamous with the 35b palette it's, um because that one has a lot of colors involved so i want to use as much colors as possible and yeah let's jump right into it so i'm gonna zoom you guys in i'm gonna bring you close so you can see all my little details and yeah we'll start with the eyes <laughs> All right, so the first thing I'm gonna do um, is prime my lid. I know he kind of emphasized that your primer is very important with this look. I mean, with this palette, with his palette, but I didn't have time to buy new primer, so I'm just gonna use the primer I already have. So I'm gonna do James on this side and 35 be on this side. All right, so the first color he went into is Escape. And I'm just gonna get a dense packing brush and I'm gonna put that on there. And then on in the 35B palette, the color that most resembles that color is this purple right here. So I'm gonna use that. This is the 35B. So he just puts that in the corner. Nobody puts baby in the corner. I'm already seeing a difference in the pigment. All right, so next he uses the color single in his palette. So I'm going to take, so I'm gonna take this color right here because it most resembles um, single. So now that those two colors are on, I'm gonna go into B, cause that's the color that he uses next. So I'm gonna go into yellow right here. It's like the only bright yellow in the 35B palette. Perfect. 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 All right. 
right, so the next color that he uses is You're Kidding in his palette. So it's a nice red color, and I love freaking red colors. So we are going to use this color right here in the 35B palette because it's pretty similar. That is actually a really nice red. Okay, Charles. Okay, Mr. Charles. All right, so the next color he uses is the 518 color. And in the Morphe 35B palette, the color similar to that is going to be this orange right here. It's a nice neon orange. You see all that buildup of orange now? Right there in the corner yeah that's not supposed to be there so um, James doesn't have any fallout so that's good well, the next color he uses is skip to diffuse the purple and red so we're going to use this this color right here Alright, so now he goes into Spooky, which is that really, really black, dark eyeshadow shade. So we're gonna go into that corner right here for the 35B palette and use this color right here. This, and we're just putting it in that to deepen that corner. Now we don't want to use too much um, because it's black, but we're just gonna deepen out that corner. And then he goes back into that same purple skip again. So we're gonna go back into the purple again and just diffuse that dark black spooky. We ain't trying to be too spooky. All right, so I'm gonna use my concealer, just a regular concealer. This is my MAC concealer concealer and I'm just going to cut my crease and he takes it a little bit above um, normal so that's what we're gonna do so we're just gonna cut our crease Um, so he uses the color flashback in his palette and I'm going to use this white right here from the Morphe 35B palette and we're just going to pack that on. So to diffuse that weird line that's going on right here, um, he uses the color Acapella, so it's a blue shimmery color. And I'm guessing that's supposed to match this color right here. We have Acapella here, here, and we sprayed it. And we're gonna do the same for the other side. So we're gonna take that blue that I showed you. We're gonna spray it. And we're just going to pack that on as well. Um, so next we're gonna use the color, he uses the color Hello. And I don't, there is no color close to that in the 35B palette. So congrats, James. I'm looking and like there's nothing. Um, I'm just going to use 
this light blue right here so like yeah this not they're not similar at all so I'm just gonna have to use that color we got to compromise because of course the palettes aren't gonna be exactly the same they are similar but they're not exactly the same so for the bottom lash line we're actually gonna go back into single so that means we're going back into the first purple that we used before So then he uses the color Brother, and I noticed that they have this color right here, very similar to Brother. Then he uses the color Social Blade, and I noticed that we have something similar to that, but it is shimmery on the 35B palette, as you can see. It's a shimmery version, so it's right here. And that's the only similar color that we have, so we're just gonna use that. And notice that I don't have primer on the lower lash line and the colors are still showing up. So next we have to create a false waterline and he uses some like a white concealer. I don't have any white concealer but I do have my NYX jumbo pencil in white. So I'm gonna take that on a little brush and I'm gonna create my false um, lash line. And then he goes into daddy. <laughs> I said that's so weird. He goes into daddy in his palette and then I'm going to take this color right here in the Morphe 35B palette. Um, the Morphe 35B palette is darker, maybe this green. So yeah, we don't have an exact match but I'm gonna just take that 35B one. I'm gonna go off camera and I'm going to do the rest of my face and clean it up and look more presentable and I'm going to come back and give you my thoughts on both palettes and yeah let's let's just you know cuz this is looking a lot right now it's looking a lot crazier but let's just clean it all up okay <laughs> so I finished the rest of my face as you can see everything's all glammed up and all beautiful um all in all i have to say like both sides look very similar like if i were to walk out in the streets with this look it looks like i use the same shop um same palette i do i would say that most of the colors in here are from the 35b palette like they're basically the same color um i feel like they change the formula a little bit because even when i'm swatching them they feel a little bit different like especially the neon colors the brighter colors they feel different from the old one i don't know if it's because mine is old um if my morphe 35b is old and this is a new palette so new palettes are going to feel different automatically i am quite impressed with the james charles palette i'm not even gonna i'm not even gonna front and act like it's not good it's not bomb when it when it actually is low-key bomb like especially the fact that he added big pans in that middle row that middle row is pretty nice and thick and as you can see i use a lot of colors in this palette and it looks like i didn't even touch it like there's no fallout in the palette um there was just a little bit of fallout on my face so what i say get this palette over the 35b palette or if you have a 35b palette should you get this palette yes definitely get this palette um this palette has way more colors than the 35b palette did and it also has brown transitioning shades in there that is perfect to pair with the colorful palettes because with my 35b palette i always had to use another palette to work with this one now i only have to use one palette 39 dollars palette and that's it that's all i have to do let tell me down below how you feel about the james charles palette if you have it and if you're gonna and if you're thinking about get it, getting it, tell me down below what your concerns are about the palette. Maybe I can help you. Maybe I can answer it too since it is sold out right now. So a lot of people didn't get the chance to get it. So yeah, there's going to be a lot of new people out there that are still doing research on the palette and figuring out whether or not you should get it or not. But I'd say definitely get it. It's, it's worth it. Especially if you're a makeup lover. 
You're gonna like this palette. You're gonna love this palette. Uh, thank you so much for tuning in to another video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please leave me a thumbs up if you like what you saw and you saw what you like. Also hit that subscribe button. It's gonna be down below in one of these corners. And yeah, thank you so much for tuning in to another video. And I'll see you next time. Bye. Mwah.